The rotary unit for CNC routers is here. It comes in a variety of lengths and it's made of strong and durable material. It also comes with a host of other parts that are needed for installation, such as the motor, the driver, transformer, relay and switchable cable. Now, we highly recommend making use of am.co.za technicians for installation. But for this video, we're going to take you through the installation anyway. So start by fixing the motor onto the gearbox. And then fix the transformer, driver and relay into the control cabinet. Now for the wiring. The best way to show you is with a schematic diagram. To start with, you need to join the motor to the driver and the driver to the transformer. Then you need to join the driver to the relay. And the relay to the controller. So, join A positive, A negative, B positive and B negative on the motor terminals to A positive, A negative, B positive and B negative terminals on the driver. And the driver AC terminals 20 and 21 on the transformer. Terminals 10 and 11 on the transformer are for 220 volts ACM. Next, join DIR negative, DIR positive, PUL negative and PUL positive to the relay terminals 5, 6, 7 and 8 as indicated. Whilst relay terminals 1, 2, 3 and 4 go to the existing driver. Terminals 9, 10, 11 and 12 go to the controller unit terminals GY01, GY02, GY03 and GY04 as indicated. And now what is left is the switching cable. Terminal 14 on the relay goes to a positive 24 volt power supply, the negative side of which is joined to one side of the cable marked 24 volt negative. And the other side of the cable marked 24 volt negative goes to terminal 13 on the relay. And with this configuration, you are now able to use the CNC as per normal and switch over to the rotary straight from the remote control. Again, we highly recommend that you make use of am.co.za technicians for the installation of the rotary unit on your CNC router. And to find out more about the rotary unit, you are welcome to call sales.